Hello students, welcome to Narayana Online Classes. Today we are discussing 10th Standard Mathematics, Assignment number 27. The topic is trigonometry. Now the first question. In a triangle ABC, angle A is 90 degrees and angle B is theta, then side AC with respect to theta is. So here one right angle triangle is there. This is a right angle triangle and at angle A is 90 degrees. So this is 90 degrees and B C at angle B is theta at angle B is theta then side AC the side AC with respect to theta so with respect to theta opposite to the theta the side which is opposite to the theta the side which is opposite to this theta is called opposite side so opposite side so the side ac is opposite side option a coming to the next problem In a right angle triangle, the side opposite to right angle is. So, if if you are drawing a right angle triangle, this is a right angle triangle. Then, this is the 90 degrees, and the side opposite to the right angle. Right angle in this sense, 90 degrees. The side which is opposite to the 90 degrees is called what? Hypotenuse. The side which is opposite to the right angle it means the side which is opposite to the 90 degrees is called hypotenuse so now option is c coming to the next problem if tan a is equals to 3 by 4 then find a sin a and cos a so here what is given tan a is equals to 3 by 4 so tan means tan means opposite side by adjacent side opposite side by adjacent side it means in a right angle triangle for example a triangle a b c with respect to a opposite the opposite side that is bc is the opposite side then 3 into k but we don't know the actual length of this side we know the ratio that's why we are introducing k so opposite side we can write it as a 3k by 4k 3k by 4k it means opposite side is 3k and adjacent side is 4k so adjacent side is 4k we don't know hypotenuse first we should find out hypotenuse so by using pythagoras rule by using pythagoras rule Pythagoras rule so AC square is equals to AB square plus BC square AC square is equals to AB square that is 4k whole square plus BC square is 3k whole square which is equals to 4k whole square means 4 square value is 16k square plus 3k whole square means 9k square ac square is equals to 25k square therefore ac is equals to root 2 over 25k square that is a 5k 5k now hypotenuse is 5k then what he is asking we need to find out a sin a and 
cos a sin a sin a is opposite by hypotenuse it means bc by ac bc by ac bc value is 3k by ac value is 5k and k k get cancelled then 3 by 5 so sin the ratio of sin a is 3 by 5 now coming to the cos a cos a is adjacent side by hypotenuse here the adjacent side is ab and hypotenuse is ac so ab by ac ab value is 4k by ac value is 5k then 4 by 5 so sin a cos a the ratios of four. sin a and cos a are 3 by 5 and 4 by 5 coming to the next problem that tan a is equal to sin a by cos a now i'm taking lhs now i'm taking lhs left hand side it means uh, uh, tan a tan a means tan a means opposite side by adjacent side opposite side by adjacent side opposite side by adjacent side now i'll divide in both the numerator and denominator by hypotenuse divide by divide by hypotenuse hypotenuse both the numerator and denominator both the numerator and denominator so i am dividing by hypotenuse to both the numerator and denominator so opposite side by hypotenuse And adjacent side by hypotenuse. See children, we know that the ratio of opposite side by hypotenuse is sin theta, which is a sin A by the ratio of adjacent to the hypotenuse is cos A. Now we are proving rhs so now we are taking lhs lhs is turned into a rhs hence problem now coming to the next problem in a triangle pqr with right angle at q so there is a triangle is there so first i am dra drawing the triangle triangle is there right angle letter q so p q r is a right angle triangle the value of angle p is x so here the angle is x at angle p is x p q is equal to 7 centimeters so p q is 7 centimeters and q r is 24 centimeters 24 centimeters then find all the trigonometric ratios so we need to find all the trigonometric ratios then we need uh, all the sides of a triangle but we have uh, two sides of a triangle are there uh, one is opposite side and another one is adjacent side then coming to the hypotenuse we need to find it so we need to find hypotenuse first so what is given angle p is equals to x and uh, PQ is equals to 7 centimeters and QR is equals to 24 centimeters by using Pythagoras rule
by using Pythagoras rule. So P R square is equals to P Q square plus Q R square. P R square is equals to P Q square. P Q square is 7 square plus Q R square 24 square. So 7 square value is 49 and 24 square is 576. So let it be uh, 49 plus 576 is 625. Therefore, a PR is equals to root over 625. Then root over 625 is 25. 25, 25 is a 625. So now the hypotenuse is 25 centimeters. 25 centimeters. Now we need to calculate all the trigonometric ratios. Now first one with respect to x we are calculating all the trigonometric ratios with respect to x it means with respect to angle p so first sin x sin x is equals to so sin theta is opposite by hypotenuse it means a qr by pr so qr is qr is 24 centimeters 24 by pr is 25 so sin x is 24 by 25 next coming to the cos x so cos theta is adjacent side by hypotenuse with respect to x pq is the adjacent side so pq by pr so pq is 7 by pr is 25 now coming to the tan x so tan theta is opposite by hypotenuse with respect to x qr is opposite side and pq is adjacent side so opposite by adjacent sides so opposite is qr by pq so qr is 24 centimeters and pq is 7 so 24 by 7 is tan x cortex cortex is 1 by tan x or otherwise use the ratio side ratios cortex means adjacent by hypotenuse pq by qr pq by qr that is 7 by 24 next secant x secant x is hypotenuse by adjacent side so pr by pq so pr is 25 by pq is 7 so 25 by 7 and uh, last one is cosecant x cosecant x so cosecant x means hypotenuse by opposite side that is a pr by pr by rq so pr is 25 and rq is 24 rq is 24 so these are the all the trigonometric ratios with respect to this right angle triangle thank you students